All programs in the Luzira women's prison are run on time and the inmates have to live by the rules. The rehabilitation session where the inmates are trained in the various activities are conducted between 9 a.m. and midday. At exactly midday, the lunchtime bell goes and everyone is expected to go to the kitchen. The prisoners cook themselves, whichever food they want to cook. If you, do, if you can't afford to cook a food of your own, there is always food served in the kitchen. Some of the inmates prefer to have their lunch outside. Lunch is only one hour. Between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m., the inmates are allowed to go about their business. Some of them prefer to remain indoors in the wards to watch TV. <laughs> while others, it's time to join Lunch Hour Fellowships on radio. Then they also play netball and volleyball. They normally have competitions between the wards. Maybe ward one can play with ward two, then the remands can play with the convicts. This is to help them to keep fit while they're in what? Where they're in prison. During this time, the inmates are also given an opportunity to meet their visitors in the visitors' room, but only for a maximum of 15 minutes. The visitors in Luzira Women's Prison come in three days, that is Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays, from 9 up to 4 o'clock. Then the lawyers are allowed in from Monday up to Friday, from 9 up to 4 o'clock. Prison authorities, with the help of the ward leaders, double-check the items brought for the inmates by their relatives to ensure that nothing banned finds its way in. At exactly 4 p.m., the bell goes off and every inmate is expected to be in their wards. But before they settle in, Prison warders conduct physical roll calls and a head count. The wards have a varying number of inmates depending on their size. This ward has 32 inmates. Every ward has a toilet and bathrooms inside. The cardinal rule here is cleanliness. The inmates are also allowed to watch TV. Then at around 5 prayer, then at least by 7 they should be ready to sleep. Lights remain on in the ward throughout the night to constantly monitor the inmates. For some of the inmates, this encumbrance is a plus, especially during the examination period, allowing them to read at night. Every ward is manned by a female prisons officer throughout the night, who is also responsible for a head count of the inmates when dawn breaks. In the next episode of Inside Luzira Prison, we take you inside the Maction Bay Men's Prison. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.